Hey there everybody and welcome back to another free codeless application development tutorial. In today's video we're going to be walking through the basics of how to make a cover letter generator. So the idea is it's going to create the text and then you can paste this into your own Word document. But the idea is we're going to make some kind of cover letter like this and it'll autofill these blanks with different variables that the user can enter. The idea is for those out there that may not know how to create their own cover letter they can type in basic stuff like their name and their skills and then it'll populate one for them. So we'll go ahead and jump straight in but before don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. On the right-hand side, I am screen mirroring my phone with the AppGyver preview app. On the left-hand side, we have AppGyver pulled up. AppGyver is the free codeless application development platform that enables you to make apps for free as long as you're making 10 million or less in revenue, but you can check their pricing page for up-to-date information on that. So basically, we will go over the really just the basics here so what we're going to do is cover a couple of things so first and foremost we need to cover the pages that are in this application so we have two pages the home page which is this fill out the form page and then the second page which is basically just going to be the page where the actual cover letter is so we will go ahead and break down these two pages really quickly now <clears throat> this is the cover letter that i'm using it's relatively generic, so you may want to give your users multiple options. But the idea is it's going to say management, my name is blank. I'm writing to express my interest in working at blank. So this would be the storyboarding part of the application building process where you would decide what do I want this app to do or say. So I took a somewhat generic cover letter and then I put blanks where I would typically insert app variables and then users can then type in an app variable in AppGyver, which will update this information. So we will need this cover letter in a minute, so you'll need to make your own cover letter. Then we will open up our mobile application. So first things first, we need all of the fields that we would need the user to enter. So what I did, which honestly took uh, probably five to 10 minutes, is you're going to bring in input fields by dragging them over for each of your quote unquote blanks. So the idea here is every bit of information the user needs to enter is going to be here. So an example, if we hover over this cover letter, every time you see a blank, I made an app variable for it that the user is going to enter. So an example is in the cover letter, it says my name is blank. Here it will say my name is, we'll just say John Taylor. And then it'll say, and I'm looking to apply to, and then the user will enter in the company and so on and so forth. So you'll copy over input fields for each of these. <clears throat> and then the next part, which is actually surprisingly quick, you can hit this slider, go to app variables. We're using these so they can be used between the pages of the app. You'll click add a new variable, type in the name of the variable, and then you can continue to click add new variable and you'll see new variables will continue to be added. So it's, <clears throat> it's a fairly simple process. Now, what I did is I added a variable for each one of these options. So in this case, name, we will click on the input field. We will change the label. And then for the value, we'll click data and variables, app variable, and then we'll find the corresponding variable. Then you're going to repeat that process for each of these variables all the way down. Now, <clears throat> If you notice, you have a couple of options down here where they're side by side to make this less of a monster page to have to deal with. So in this case, it's just a very long page. What we're doing or what I have done is I've dragged over a row. And then when you drag over the row, you can edit the layout and change the number of rows or containers. And then when you do that, you can drop in whatever components into each container and you'll see it allows you to do them side by side. So if you want, you can put yours side by side as well. Just bear in mind that if people are viewing in smaller device types, this is going to be a little harder. So we will go ahead and save our changes. So once you have all of that done, we have two things to do next. So first, we are going to add in a button to take us to the next page. And in this button, we're going to have two pieces of logic. First, we're going to drag over set app variable and open page. 
So we're going to connect the component tap to set the app variable first. And then we're going to connect it to open page, which will simply open up the next page of the application. Now for a set app variable, we're going to set the cover letter variable and we're going to set it to the entire cover letter. So what I have done effectively is I have copied in this entire cover letter word for word here. Now, <clears throat> the downside to this is AppGyver doesn't seem to like to do formatting. So for example, if you hit enter, it doesn't want to do the line spacing properly. So you may need to do a couple of these for each paragraph. However, you prefer to break it down is up to you. I'm just going to show you how to get the basic values there. So there's a couple of things to note. If we were to set this up exactly as it is, then it's just going to put in all of the blanks. So I think it's probably best just to click generate and see what it looks like. So you'll see right here, the downside is you cannot see all of the text. But if I hit control A and control C, I can go into something like Microsoft Word and go down a few lines and I can paste it and you'll see I get all of the values. So the good news is it is coming through. Now the downside is users on their phone are going to have to click here and then they're going to have to click control A, which can be a little bit tricky. So in this particular situation, unfortunately, I don't know of any components that are going to let you put all the information in one spot. What I even had to do for this specific page, which I'll show you in a second, is I had to increase the size of this input field by going over to layout and choosing the, I, if you type in width in the formula box, you can choose systemvars.dimensions.screen.width, which makes it the full width of the page. And then what I did was I went to height and I did systemvars.dimensions.screen.height divided by five, just to give us a smaller but still pretty large window. Unfortunately, it doesn't do text wrapping. I'm sure that's something that AppGyver has. I just don't know how to do, or maybe they're going to be adding at some point. <clears throat> but the point here is, if you were to just make this a regular text field, like this text here, this is not selectable text. So it may work in a web page, but as a mobile app, you can't select this text. So if you want your app to display all of the values, then you could very easily choose this right here, choose your content, and then you can choose your data variables, and we'll choose app variable, cover letter, and save. So what we'll do is we'll save this, allow the app to reload, and then we will go over here and click generate, and now you'll see we have the cover letter here. Again, the downside to this is it's not selectable text, but if you want to figure out how to set that up, you could set up multiple, um, basically like multiple text values, and then have a paragraph per text value, and then break it up. But <clears throat> we're at this point, we're just trying to get the user usable text. So we're going to delete that. And at this point, we're just going to walk through what you need to do to get you started with getting this builder set up. So we have all of these variables. What we need to do is now start inserting them into this page. So you'll see that we're setting the variable and it, this is assigned and in here you'll see these quotes. So what we would need to do is we're gonna work with concatenating different strings. So the idea here is if we close this off with quotes and then we hit space plus space we're going to replace blank with whatever that specific app variable is, but we need to make sure that we separate the rest. So in this case, we're keeping, we're adding in another quote here. So to make this clear, this is what it looked like before. Management, my name is blank, and I am writing to express, etc., etc., and then you have quotes down here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to close this into two separate statements. So first we have this. And then we have this. This is going to give you the same exact output. It's going to give you this text string, and then it's going to add in this text string. So they're together. Now what we need to do is we are going to separate this into another text string. 
And now that blank has been separated out, we're going to change this to the app variable. So in this case, we're doing app variable. So you can just type in app.v and you'll see all of your app variables will pop up here. So now you're going to scroll through and you need to find the app variable for name or to make it easier, you can actually just delete this and go to app variables and find the app variable for name and double click it. So just to show you what we've done now is instead of saying management, my name is blank, we're saying text, display this text, also then display this and then display the rest of the text. So we're gonna click save and see how this comes out. So in this case, we're gonna to go to the home page and we're gonna type in name. So we'll put Tyler Talks. And then we're gonna to go to generate. And then we're gonna go in here and copy all of this and we'll paste it over into a Word document. And we'll see that it did not come through which could be just because of the copying. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, sorry about that. So we have this set up now and it is bringing in these values. So in this case, I'll show you what I did to get this set up. You have to remember when you're doing this, hitting the generate button is what sets the values and gets everything transferred over. So in this case, if I were to put my name is Tyler and I click generate, if we go over here, we may have to hit control A and then move to the left and you'll see it says my name is Tyler. So in this case, a user could copy all of this and they may not be able to copy since I'm technically copying from across my phone. I don't think it's actually gonna be bringing the value, but since you can see it here in real time and what we'll do to make it easier to see is we will go to the new page and we will add in the text like we did before, and we will change the variable to be the app variable cover letter, which is the same value down here, but this is so we can actually see the values. So now we're gonna go back to the home page and do a couple more variables together, and then I'll leave the rest of it with you. So the company we're applying to and total years of work experience are next. So we're gonna scroll down to generate, and then we're gonna go and edit the assigned value again. And we're looking for the next blanks. So I'm writing to express my interest in working at blank. So in this case, we'll put space and then we'll do a quote. And then what we will do is we're going to do a quote right here. <clears throat> and typically you'll wanna add a space within the quote. So basically we're just taking out this blank. Now, what we're gonna do, if you remember, is we're gonna add in two plus signs. The first plus sign is adding in the variable. The next plus sign is going to be adding in the text that's after the variable. So we're gonna go to app variables, and then we're gonna scroll through, and we're gonna click the applying to variable. So at this point, what it's gonna look like is management my name is, it'll autofill the name, and I'm writing to express my interest in working at, and this is the text portion and then it's gonna add in the app variable applying to, and then it's going to say I have over blank years of experience. So if we remember correctly, we're just gonna put a space and a quote, and then we will put in the app variable here. So we're looking for the one for experience, and this is why naming is important. We'll put years of experience. <clears throat> and then if you remember, we have to make sure we have these plus signs which is just what we would call concatenating or adding them together. And you'll add in, you may wonder why I have these spaces after the quotes. That's because it's still technically part of that value. So you don't want all of your words to be squished together. So we're gonna test this one out now and see how things are working. So we will go back in our mobile app here. We're gonna type in our name is Tyler company applying to, let's just say Tyler Talks, and then years of work experience, we'll just say eight. We will scroll down and click generate, <clears throat> and you'll see in the text, it says management, my name is Tyler, and I am writing to express my interest in working at Tyler Talks. I have over eight years of experience working in blank. 
So as you can see, all we need to do is continue to go through this generate button. And then <clears throat> when you're setting up this value here, all you're trying to do is update each of these blanks and swap them out for the app variable. So again, all you need to do is close out your quotes just before the blank, do a plus sign and a space, add in whatever the app variable is. So we'll just apply this one. You'll add in another plus and then add in a quote and a space. And then it basically says the words in quotes plus whatever the app variable is plus the words in quotes. So feel free to take a look at this. I would recommend, especially if you're going to build something like this, you don't want to flood the market with a ton of generic resumes. So make sure you're applying different logic to set up different cover letter options for your users. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.